In the notes, I show you how to do this by hand. I am just now doing it for you as a video. I am not recommending you do this by hand. In fact, I would highly uh, rec recommend against doing it by hand. I do think you should do it by hand once because that will help you understand where the number's coming from. Then I think you should never look at this formula again. But again, I wanna go over it and I'm going over it because I want you to understand where the numbers are coming from. So first, when we look at this, this Greek letter sigma, this means sum, right? So we have to add it up. X is our value, X bar is our mean, N is our number of values. So this is the same FICO scores that I used. So I'm gonna start by finding the average. So this I'm gonna find, now I know the formula, but obviously if you didn't, you could use the mean formula to find that. So there is our mean. I'm gonna start, I wanna subtract each one of these, okay? I wanna do A2 minus, I wanna use that A15. Now here's the thing, I wanna be able to pull it down, right? What happens when I fill this down? This, I put in the formula and it was mad. Cancel. Okay, what happened when I put this in? This changed to A15. I don't want it to change to A15. I still want it to be A14. Now I could change each time, but if you come up here and you put a number sign, a, number sign, a dollar sign between those two, watch this. Now when I fill down, it will continue varying. Okay. This is what I get for trying to, thank you. Okay. It will continue varying it, varying the first one, but not the second one. Notice that keeps taking the means. That's a really cool little trick. Now each one of these now, and this is, I'm just following along the formula. So I did X minus X bar minus the mean for each one. Now I need to square each one. So I'm gonna do B2, and you just see the caret key, that's the one above the six on your keyboard. You're going to square each one. Notice this is why you should never get a negative answer because once you square something, it's always positive, right? So this is going to make everything positive. Now, this says to sum it. So I'm going to add all these. Now, you could use the sum or you've got this auto sum up here. This is my sum, okay? This is the top of this. I have uh, 12 values here. So what I'm gonna do is I could do this on my calculator, but I'm gonna actually do it all in Excel. I'm gonna do the square root, okay, that's the outside, of A, nope, C14, see that? Divided by, okay, I'm gonna 11, because this is N, 12, minus one. So there, 58.3 uh, approximately, that's our answer. And that's the same answer let me see here. Let me make sure. But that should be the exact same answer I got here. Yeah, doo, doo, doo. Yep, exact same answer I got here. So this goes over the process. Again, you don't need to know how to do this. I just wanted to go over it because, again, this is also a good way to practice Excel skills. So it's worth doing once on, like, the first one, and then don't do it again.